thousands of years, thousands and thousands of years, the people of Israel pushed forward their sins by sacrifice, <coughs> by animal sacrifice, into the future, into a day where Jesus would be taken to a cross, and where on that cross he would call out and say this word, Tetelestai! Amen? Tetelestai, let's talk about that. See, C.S. Lewis wrote this. I want to read it to you. Excuse me, C.S. Spurgeon wrote this. Tetelestai conveys an ocean of meaning in a drop of language. A mere drop. It would need all the other words that ever were spoken or ever can be spoken to explain it, this one word. It's altogether immeasurable. It's, as high, it's high. I cannot attain it. It is deep. I cannot fathom it. It is finished is the most charming note in, the, in all of Calvary's music. For that is what Tetelestai means. It is finished. It was a victory cry from the cross. The fire has passed upon the Lamb. He has borne the whole of the wrath that was due to His people. This is the royal dish of the feast of love. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. What a grand utterance, Tetelestai. How now we are safe, for salvation is complete. The sin debt is, was now to the last farthing all discharged, he says. The atonement the propiti and propitiation which were made once and for all and forever by the offering made by Jesus' body mm -hmm. on the tree. There was the cup. All of hell was in it. The Savior drank it. Not a sip and then a pause. Not a draught and a single act of drinking. And then a ceasing. He drained it until there was not a drag left for any of his, of his people. The great ten throng whip of the law was worn out on his back. There is no lash left with which to smite one for whom Jesus died. The great cannonade, continuous heavy gunfire of God's justice was exhausted all its ammunition. ammunition. It, there is nothing left to hurl against the child of God. They sheathed the sword of justice, silenced the thunder of law. There remains now, nothing now, of all its griefs and pains and agonies, mm -hmm. which chosen sinners ought to have suffered for their sins. For Christ endured it all, and it is finished. For them in that day, when they realized what took place on the cross, a life change took place, a relief, an understanding that their guilt and shame and fear wasn't just pushed off for another year, it was taken away forever. They could breathe again. They could understand what it felt like to not have remorse and guilt and fear of God in their life. It was a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful, beautiful moment. And we celebrate it today as we take the communion. Father God, we come before you in celebration. Your plan worked. You are the way, Lord Jesus, the truth and the life, and we praise you for it. We honor you, Lord Jesus, for taking on all our sin, all our grief, all our, our guilt, all our regrets, all our shame. And Lord God, we believe it. We believe it with a whole heart. You took it away, you died for it, and it is finished. And we praise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.